A friendship between a blind farm dog and a bully cat that's breaking the common stereotype. <laughs> Being blind is understandably a devastating disability. It doesn't take an expert to know that everything becomes harder once you've lost your sight. Although modern technology and medicine are trying to make living easier for blind people, life is definitely harder when you can't see the world around you. Unfortunately, while there are continuous efforts for humans, the same thing can't be said for our blind animal friends. Especially for canines, you might think that their strong senses of smell can cover for their disability. But the sad reality is that a blind dog just like humans needs help. Take the story of Turfle, a blind farm dog who stayed in his bed because he couldn't see. Although dogs are considered to be one of the most intelligent animals on Earth, they still cannot hold a cane or operate modern devices. Turfle had learned to accept his fate. His movements were limited. But one day help finally came in the most unexpected form. Although the statistics of blindness vary from time to time, people with visual impairment can benefit from some clever devices. Lots of experiments and research is being funded to find ways to help people with eyesight problems. The Braille system, smartphones, smart glasses are the most common reading and recognition devices. These products have dramatically improved the quality of life for blind people. But what happens if you're a blind dog? Unfortunately, finding solutions that can aid our blind furry friends is not a priority. With nothing to assist him, Turfle had to live his life far different from most farm dogs that are wild and carefree. Instead of running outside, he spends his day on his tiny box bed. Turfle is 14 years old and lives in Holyhead, North Wales with his current owner, Judy Godfrey Brown. Judy adopted the farm dog when the previous owner threw him against a brick wall. Turfle was only a puppy when the heartless incident occurred. Aside from being partially deaf, the terrible act had also altered his vision. Judy Godfrey Brown was not looking for another dog at the time, however, she simply couldn't ignore a crying puppy. It was clear that Turfle's upbringing wasn't a good one and that he needed a new owner. In Judy's care, Turfle began to grow active and healthy. Although he had some disabilities, it didn't stop him from being an obedient puppy. However, it seemed as though life would never go easy on Turfle. When he was eight years old, another unfortunate incident happened. Judy noticed that Turfle's eyes were slowly becoming foggy. When Judy took him to a veterinarian, cataracts were spotted on his eyes. With each passing day, she witnessed how things became more and more difficult for the poor farm dog. From foggy, Turfle's eyes turned into a milky white. Eventually, walking became too hard for him. He would bump into furniture and ended up hurting himself. Judy had to rearrange things in the house so that the blind dog could have some space to move. But even though Judy had made some adjustments, Turfle still struggled to move around the house. After multiple injuries, he seemed to give up and spend most of the day on his bed. The sad reality that he lived could break anyone's heart. To make sure he got a good dose of exercise, Judy took him for a walk every morning. However, as years went by, Judy found it harder and harder to take Turfle out as his legs began to ache. It seemed that the farm dog had given up on himself and he'd only move when Judy used a little force. Judy couldn't bear the sight of Turfle wasting away on his tiny box bed. She loved her pet so much and she wanted to make him happy. She didn't want him to spend the rest of his life on his bed. Then one day, a brilliant idea crossed her mind. Judy was so excited about her idea that it didn't take long for her to carry it out. One day, she went home with a stray cat. She named the newcomer Putty Dad. She took the cat to Turfle. As usual, he was curled up in his basket. Although he couldn't see his owner and visitor, his poking ears were a sign that he knew a newcomer had arrived. Judy knew she was taking a risk. Judging by the cat's mean attitude towards other cats, she wasn't sure if the two pets would get along. However, it seemed that Turfle's life was about to change. According to Judy, Putty Dad is a bully cat. He loves to have the other cats under his control and he was quite a wild one as well. However, it seemed that Turfle had a soft spot in his heart. Perhaps Putty Dad was aware that Turfle needed help. His cold demeanor towards other cats doesn't work on the poor dog. It was quite unlikely as dogs and cats can be compared to antonyms. The cat had found a friend in his new residence. When Judy had taken home Putty Dad, she knew she must have a plan B in mind. She was aware that most dogs and cats hate each other. She knew Turfle was different. 
However, deep in her heart, something was telling her that she did the right thing. Within the first few weeks, Judy had noticed that Putty Dad prefers to be with Turfle rather than going outside and bonding with other cats. Seeing the two of them forming a sort of friendship still made her heart happy. Cats are known to be very sensitive and intuitive. They have a way of communicating with others that are sometimes indescribable. Judy called Putty Dad's intuition a sixth sense. From the very first day she took him to Turfle, the stray cat had never shown his mean side to the poor dog. Looking at them when they're lying on Turfle's bed together, she couldn't help smiling. Even though the sight of them together is quite becoming normal for her, Judy can't help but whisper a prayer of thanks from time to time. The first months of Putty Dad in his new house, he spent mostly with Turfle. Judy decided to have another tiny box bed besides the dog so the two could sleep side by side. But as days passed, the cat seemed to feel the need to go out. But he couldn't just leave his friend behind. Putty Dad had another surprise, but not only for Judy. Aside from being Turfle's companion, he had taken on another role that was really unexpected. One day, Judy was delightfully surprised when she saw Turfle walking on the hall while Putty Dad was serving as his guide. The cat and dog were walking side by side, and the cat was so patient with Turfle that it made Judy cry. Judy had worked as a public servant for several years. She knew how satisfying it is to help someone who's in need. Clearly, Putty Dad was doing the same thing to Turfle without her bidding. The mean cat had a heart of gold after all. Turfle had given up walking around the house in fear of bumping into things and hurting himself. But with Putty Dad around, it was clear that something changed. He'd gotten his confidence back once again, leaving his bed and moving around the house. Although they do it slowly, Judy was delightfully shocked at the progress. Putty Dad served as Turfle's living crutch. The feline helper dedicates himself to his newfound friend. He became the poor blind dog's seeing eyes. Now Turfle can go out and enjoy the grass. According to Judy, it wasn't the first time that Turfle had met a cat. However, those previous cats didn't get even as close as Putty Dad did. The farm dog was uncomfortable when other creatures rubbed up against him. The affection that Turfle was showing to Putty Dad was new to Judy. Judy had spent years earning the trust of the poor dog that had an unhappy upbringing as a puppy. Perhaps there's something really special about the mean cat. They go together like brother and sister. Turfle and Putty Dad became inseparable. The duo gets around the house like twins glued to each other. According to their owner, the cat uses his paws to guide the dog. Putty Dad walks a little ahead, and he stops Turfle when there are blocks in front of them. Due to their routine, Judy has noticed that Turfle is gaining his confidence back. Although he moves with noticeable slowness, she can see the happiness on the dog's face. Putty Dad would even open doors for his friend so he wouldn't get hurt. When Turfle began to move confidently inside the house with his cat aid, Putty Dad decided to take the actions to the next level. The intelligent cat didn't just help the dog to move into corners and couches, he also guided his canine friend outside the house as well. Looking from afar, no one would think that Turfle is a blind dog. Putty Dad made sure that his friend would get back to his farm dog roots. Now, Turfle would only go back to his basket when nighttime fell. According to Judy, when Putty Dad takes Turfle outdoors, they're a glorious pair to look at. The cat's in the lead while Turfle's nose is on his aide's tail. They circle the garden and roll around in the grass as if nothing is wrong. Even the neighbors admitted that they're not used to seeing dogs not chasing cats. The lovely pair soon gained fans and everyone in their community wanted to see their closeness. Judy isn't getting any younger. She can feel that her strength isn't the same as it used to be. With Putty Dad around, she doesn't have to worry about Turfle anymore. It's such a relief that his beloved dog had found a loyal and helpful buddy. To compensate for his great effort, Judy makes sure that the helpful cat is being taken care of well. Her dear pets do not cause her a headache as most of the time, they just want to play and enjoy the fresh air outside. One way or another, Putty Dad had made her life easier too. It's not only Judy who thinks that Putty Dad and Turfle are such a rare duo. She admitted that she didn't play a big part in the unusual friendship of her two pets. It just unfolded, slowly and sweetly. Judy believes that there's a special language between her dog and her cat. Although she can take care of her too, it seemed that they are more comfortable relying on each other. She can't help but smile knowing that her brilliant idea had gone a long way. 
With her old age, Judy couldn't help but wonder what would happen to Turfle if Putty Dat didn't come into his life. She would never expected that his stray cat would turn into a guardian angel. Her 14-year-old dog might have lost his eyesight, however, he gained a friend for a lifetime. Every day, her two pets make her believe that any kind of challenge in this life can be handled with the help of a friend. Putty Dat, being a cat, doesn't expect anything in return from the blind dog. She could only hope that other people can also realize the important life lesson brought by these two.